So today we're going to work on replacing the bearing on my one-up pedal um, and doing a service to it, uh, cleaning up the grease that's in there. Uh, tools you're going to need, uh, a 9mm socket, I use a quarter inch drive um, ratchet, um, a tiny flat screwdriver, a 6mm Allen key, and then obviously the one-up kit for replacing the bearings. So before I get started, if you're doing uh, the pedals, just uh, be careful because the uh, on the right side anyways, which I've already done the right side pedal, the inner nut that you'll have to undo is actually a uh, reverse thread. So just keep that in mind as we go forward. All right, so we're gonna start off by removing one of the end caps here. And it's just with the Allen key. Now these are the one up composite pedal, pedals. Um, doing the aluminum ones, I'm sure they're different. So there's a one end cap already out. I'll put it with the old stuff here from the other pedal. And if you look down in there, you'll see another cap down in there with an Allen key. And there is literally no tension on that cap that's down there. So when you pull that out, now down there you'll see that there's a nut down there. That's where you need your nine mil socket. Um, and to do this, uh, you can use a tool um, for the pedals, or you can just use the Allen key on the inside there. So this one here, I don't know if it's, uh, uh, nope. This one is not reverse thread. So keep in mind, it's just the right pedal that's reverse thread on the nut that's on the inside. And one thing, one way that one up uh, differentiates uh, between the reverse thread on the new kit, one, one nut will be, and uh, it's in there somewhere. I'll have to get it out for you. Um, one nut will be black and one nut will be red. So, just take that there. There's a spindle. We got the rubber seal here, right? So I'm just gonna put those down for a second. Now, in here, down there is the bearing. In this side, you'll see the sleeve, right? They give you a new sleeve. So all I did is I take my little screwdriver here and just pry that sleeve out. Put it down with the old stuff. Okay. The bearing on this side. Sometimes it might need a help, a little help in hand. So I just took my Allen key, stuck it through, and popped out the bearing. So I'm going to take a couple minutes, I'm going to clean this all up, uh, clean up the spindle, and then we'll go back through the uh, reassemble on the one-up pedal. So, I've got that wiped down inside there as best I can. Um, still a little bit of grease remnants. The grease wasn't all that bad, so I'm not worried about getting it all out. Um, you could certainly, if you had a small rag, run it through that. Uh, pull it through and maybe clean it a little better. So, I'm going to start off with you take your, your spindle. I sh should have shown you, be careful. Watch the way the seal comes out, comes off. Um, I know the, the cone end is more towards the uh, only goes one way. So, 
I like to use this, uh, this premium bearing grease. It, uh, it's worked well for me. So I'm gonna go liberally on the surfaces. And have that nice, nice coated like that. Spread it around. Share the, share the grease well all the way across it. I like to make sure the end right here gets greased because that's actually uh, one spot uh, that they had grease on there and that's where the bearing rides. So I'm just gonna put this down here temporarily. One thing we should have done is on this here, um, so on the side where you, you pop the sleeve out, just take the new sleeve, push it back in, it'll seat itself. Then you're gonna take your spindle, make sure you don't have other parts stuck to it, and you're actually just gonna feed it in, and it'll sit seat in right right nicely. Spindle in. You gotta take your bearing, drop it in. This is where using the flat screwdriver um, helps, just to feed it down there. Get the bearing all seated nice down there. Just light, very, very light little taps. So, for the left hand pedal, one up gives a uh, black nut for on the left hand side. Well, I'm gonna take the nut, and I put it just in the end of the socket there. Put your socket down with the nut on it. And there we go, feel the catch in there. Make sure the ratchet's on to tighten. And then we get in there, tighten it up. Feel how the, uh, the movement is, it should be uh, it's a, it's a little stiffer, right? But it's not, not, not overly stiff. So you take your silver cap, thread it back in. I take it, I know this wasn't very tight, so I'm not gonna put a lot of, a lot of tension on it. Then you take your final cap, And we just put that back in. This one gets a little snug right in there until you get past the point. And I just give that a nice little good quarter turn snug. Feel the movement, perfect. Not too tight, not too loose. And it's got some new grease in there. So ready to ride for another year. Now one thing I like to point out is some of these pins of mine right in here started to get a little worn out. Um, I court order pins and replace the pins, but I think what I might do is some of these inner ones my foot doesn't use that much, so just to be, uh, you know, a little bit cheaper, I just uh, might uh, swap around some pins and that uh, just for uh, this season anyways, and maybe by next season I might need to replace the pedals or just service them again and at that point I'll do that again. So, thanks for watching, and that's how you replace the bearing in your 1UP pedals, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Please uh, like and subscribe.